What's up YouTube? Sergi here back with another quick video. Um, so I did not even say Alexa's name. I don't even know how she heard me. Anyways, welcome back to another one of my videos. It's been a while since I last uploaded. Um, I've just been really busy with trying to get the SI to pass the missions. I know a lot of people have been wondering, you know, what's wrong with the SI? Where is it at? You know, stuff like that. I've only been uploading on the WRX slightly. And there's a reason for that. It's because the SI has had the tags expired for about five months now. Five months. Why? Because the car was not passing the missions and I finally figured out why. Um, basically because of the intake I have. So I have a 3.5 inch PRL short ram intake. That intake requires a tune. I, the tune that I was on would not pass emissions, which is why I'm sure as you guys can guess, I finally figured out after two months that that was the reason. So finally figured that out. I've got a three inch intake coming in. Should be here this week. I'm gonna slap that on. I'll do a video of the install for that. And then we'll go ahead and take the SI to pass emissions once I get it back on the stock tune. Because the three inch intake that I have coming in does not require a tune, so everything should be good to go. I got that intake from K Tunes, another short ram intake. We'll see how it sounds too. We'll do a quick little sound clip as well, see how it sounds. I've never done a sound clip on the one that I have now, but the PRL short ram intake sounds so good. Really loud VTEC, really nice deep tone to the engine and everything. It sounds so good. I honestly love driving the SI because of that intake. But that's not why we're here today. Today we're here because, I'm sure as you can see from the thumbnail of this video, I done messed up with these freaking tires. Um, now before you all tell me that it's so unsafe, blah, 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 this and that in the comments below, I'm not going to be running these tires that I have on the work wheels that I got for the SI. Don't judge me, but our Christmas tree is still up. There it is. I did take the lights off of it, though. It's a fake tree, so we kind of just put it away in storage. But anyways, look at this. Now, for those of you who didn't watch my previous video, where I did show you guys these wheels, these are work VSXX wheels. They're 18 by 10 plus 10 offset. So it's a 10-inch wide wheel. We've got 4-inch polished lips. Let me put it down. So four inch polished lips, and we have a machined face. So machine finish, I absolutely love it, looks really good. And I put a 215.35 tire on it, and the stretch is just way too much. So you can see like the inner side of the lip there. So basically a three piece wheel, which is what this is, consists of three pieces of course. You've got the barrel, you've got the lip, and you've got the face. So with this 215.35 on the 10 inch wide wheel, way too much of a stretch. It's showing this. A lot of people know this as Sudani, Sudani, however the heck you say it. I, this personally, I don't like it. It makes me feel uncomfortable. It makes me feel like it's unsafe. Which is why I went ahead and got some 215.40 tires on the way. Now last year, I was running basically the same spec wheel. I was running an 18 by 10 plus 11 offset. So the only difference was that this is one offset basically this is a plus 10 offset last year i was running a plus 11 but the tire that i was running last year was a 215 40 so we had a thicker sidewall meaning that there was more sidewall to stretch on the wheel um so that's why last year i basically just had like the outer part of the lip showing but i didn't have the actual like inner part and now with the smaller sidewall there's less of tire for it to stretch so that's why there's some of that showing there so I do have the 215.40 on the way. I'm selling these tires, so I already have a buyer for them. But yeah, so basically with the SI, the whole deal is we're gonna get the car to pass emissions this week. We're gonna get that K-tuned intake installed. We're gonna get the car on the stock tune. We're gonna take it to pass emissions. Once we've got that out of the way, then we're gonna go ahead and mount the new tires that are on the way to these wheels, get rid of these tires because I don't need them. And then the last thing that I have for the SI before it is ready for this year is that I do have a new custom front lip that I got made, custom made overseas. Need to go ahead and get that paint matched and I need to get the front bumper repainted on the SI as well because the current lip that I have, it kind of goes over like the bottom of the bumper and when I've scraped or like hit it and stuff like that, it kind of 
it damaged my front bumper so I need to get that repainted and then after that the SI will be completely done. I'm so excited. I'm so excited to finally get some new tags on this car. I'm so excited to get it pa to pass emissions. Really excited to get these wheels on because these wheels are just so nice. Looks so good. Honestly, this camera does not do these wheels any justice. They just look so amazing. I love the red center caps, the polished lips, and the machine finish on the face. It just looks so amazing. I'm absolutely in love with these wheels. I'm really excited to get them on. And then other than that, you know, that's all I really have for the... Let me go ahead and get this situated. That's all I've really got going on for the SI. I'm really excited to get back on, the, get it back on the road. And as far as the WRX, I'm looking into getting a J pipe soon, so look out for that. That, that means it's gonna get a little louder, and we're also gonna go stage two plus, which means it's gonna get a little quicker. I'm gonna be doing a little review on that, some sound clips and stuff like that. Um, once I get the intake installed, the K tuned intake installed in the SI, I'll get that. I'll do a video on that, then I'll do some sound clips of that as well. If anyone's interested or looking for an intake. And uh, that's about it. I'm also I'm looking into getting some seats for the WRX. Um, I really do regret not getting like a premium WRX with Recaro seats. Um, I really like the Recaro seats that the, that Subaru has for the STI and the WRX that comes, you know, the premium package with Recaros. I really like it. And I almost pulled the trigger on some OEM Recaro seats. There was someone selling them on eBay, but I found these other Recaro seats that I really like. It's a lot of money, but, you know, I just feel like it would look really good, and the interior on the WRX would just be complete with that, so, I don't know, it's a lot of money, but I really like them, and I think it would be just a really nice purchase, so it would make the interior on the WRX look really good, so, I don't know, we'll see, I might pull the trigger, it's about 8 to 11 weeks that it would take for them to get delivered, other than that, you know, I have a lot of stuff coming for you guys, so I do apologize that I didn't upload for a bit, but, you know, we are back, SI will be done, will be ready very soon so I've got some content for the SI for all my Honda boys out there and I got some content for the WRX coming as well just got a lot of stuff going on really excited to start recording to have more content to upload for you guys and uh, that's about it just wanted to give you guys a quick update wanted to let you all know where the SI has been wanted to show you this crazy stretch because it's absolutely ridiculous um, I was tempted to throw these on but it's just too cold and I, didn't, I mean, I've just been lazy. Um, as far as, you know, airing out the, this is what you need. Like if you want the lip of, to be like the perfect fender lip fitment on your car. So the fender to literally just sit right in between the lip and the tire. This is what you need to do, but it's just a little too much for me. So I'm going to the bigger sidewall. It should be a perfect stretch. I'll update you guys on that. And then we'll throw the wheels on once I have the new tires and then, you know, reveal the wheels to you guys on that side see how it looks and everything like that i'm really excited hope you guys are as excited as i am and if you're not subscribed to the channel just yet hit the like and subscribe button down below i'd really appreciate it uh we've made a lot of progress on the channel this year so far we're at almost 1200 subscribers so you know smash that subscribe button hit that like button give me a big old thumbs up comment down below blah 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 whatever thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one peace